x value and y value will be positive only in first quadrant. So I will draw the line within first quadrant. Minimum occurs at 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2. At this corner point, we will get minimum. So 7 is the minimum value. And this is x plus y equal to 4. And all the regions, when you shade, this is a common region, feasible point. This is a vertices of feasible round point. And x value is 0 and y value is what? 1. You got 1 point. So to draw a line, minimum you need 2 points. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, we'll go ahead with important concepts of uh, linear programming, problems of linear programming. They want you to minimize z is equal to 3x plus 5y subjected to x plus 3y greater than or equal to 3, x plus y greater than or equal to 2, xy greater than or equal to 0. So they want you to mag minimize. So this is objective function. Whenever any problem is given, Read the conditions subject to they give three conditions. One is x plus 3y greater than or equal to 3. Second one is x plus y greater than or equal to 2. Third one is xy greater than or equal to 0. Dear students, this is given in every problem. This means first quadrant. So means the graph should belong only to first quadrant. So no need to draw this. So now these two constants you should draw the graph. What is the first constraint? First constraint x plus 3y greater than or equal to 3. So we'll take x plus 3y equal to 3. Now in the place of x put 0, then 3y is equal to what 3? y is equal to what 3 by 3? y is 1. So now you got point. Point is what? A, A is what? x comma y and x value is 0 and y value is what? 1. You got 1 point. So to draw a line minimum you need two points and next put y equal to 0 in the same line if I put y equal to 0. So x plus 3 into 0 is equal to 3 x is equal to 3. So now we got b b is what 3 comma 0. So now we need to plot the graph. So on x axis we got a point on y axis we got a point this is y axis and this is x axis on x axis y axis you got 0 1. 0 comma 1 I named it as a or any name you can give and uh, y axis 3 0. So now you need two minimum points to draw a line you got the line and restrict the graph within first quadrant because x y greater than 0 you know x value and y value will be positive only in first quadrant. So I will draw the line within first quadrant now shading greater they told dear students greater than generally shade above and what is the meaning means simple x plus 3 y greater than 3 or equal to 3 if I put origin origin means 0 comma 0 in the place of x and y if you put 0 comma 0 so we will get 0 0 greater than 3 0 greater than 3 is false so 0 greater than 3 is false so that's why don't go towards 0 so don't shade towards 0 shade away from 0 so for the line so like this if you go towards 0 like this if you go away from 0 now shading should be away from 0 I should shade upwards so now I have drawn one line, I am shading it. Now second condition, what is second condition x plus y greater than or equal to 2? Second condition x plus y greater than or equal to 2. I will take equal to x plus y equal to 2 you take. Now put x is equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, y will become 2. And the point I name it as b, b is what? 0 comma 2. Sorry, a, b already we have named. So you can give any name. A, B, F name, C, 0, 2, it is a point on what? Y axis. On Y axis, you got one point. What is the point on Y axis? That is 0, 2 and we named it as what? 0, 2 and D, put Y 0. If I put Y 0, X will become 2 and another point, always point means first you write X coordinate, then you write Y coordinate, 2, 0. So, 2, 0 is another point. We named it as D. Now draw a line between these two. Now I should shade. See here you can see greater. Greater means what? Shade above. Shade above. Means when you substitute origin you will get false. So shade above. Now two lines we have shaded. Common region we have to combine. So now in single graph we will take scale. X 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit we will take. Y axis we will take 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. And we will draw first line. What is the first line? That is 0, 1, 3, 0. So after you draw and shade it, 
and the feasible region means common region of shedding it should be within first quadrant so we'll erase the part which is not there in the first quadrant so here this part is not in the, after shading both we'll get this common region of shading is feasible here this region is in first quadrant away from first quadrant you know x y greater than 0 means the region of shading should be within what first quadrant and this is also should be in first quadrant So after you say this is a feasible region, these are the vertices of feasible region. So three vertices we have. So this is point of intersection. So three vertices, we say vertices of feasible region. What if we say for feasible region, we call it as corner points. Here this is unbounded graph we got. So these are the vertices of feasible region. We call them as what? Corner points. So these are the corner points. So one line shading goes up, other line shading also goes up. Common region you retain that is feasible region. Feasible region is having uh, three points. One is uh, 0 to this one, 0 to and uh, this point and this point. And we'll draw corner and solve the simultaneous equation. First line and second line. So solve, subtract them. You'll get y value. Y value is half. And put y value in any one equation. You'll get x value. X value is equal to what? Half. And this is point of intersection. Half comma half. So now the vertices we call them as feasible region. So corner points, one is D, 0, 3, 0, the other one 3 by 2, 1 by 2 and Q, 0, 2. Substitute the corner points in Z. So put it in Z, you will get Z value. 3, 0, if you put, you will get 9. Similarly, you put the second point. Similarly, you put the third point, you will get. So at, these are the corner points, D, R and Q. So when you substitute in Z, objective function, what is the objective function? Objective function is 3X plus 5Y in 3x plus 5y so in the place of xy put 3 by 2 3 by 2 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 if you substitute 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 so 3 into 1 by 2 plus 5 into sorry 3 by 2 5 into 1 by 2 that is 9 by 2 plus 5 by 2 that is 14 by 2 14 by 2 14 by 2 is 7 7 is the value you will get at this particular point so now always we should draw a table so here I'll uh, draw a table that is corner points and Z value. So what is corner point? The first corner point is 3, 0. When you substitute in the Z, you'll get 9. Similarly, the second corner point is 3 by 2, 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2. You substitute in Z, you'll get 7. And the third corner point is 0, 2. Substitute 0, 2 in Z. So suppose in Z, 0, 2, if I put 3 into 0 plus 5 into 2, or if you know 5, 2 is what? 10. So this will give you 0, 2. But Q, it is 0, 2. 5, 2 is 10, we'll get. And they want you to find what minimum. So 9, 7, 10. So first always we should write a table of corner points and Z. So minimum value, least value is this. They want minimum. If they want maximum, 10 is the maximum. They want minimum. Minimum occurs at 3 by 2, comma 1 by 2. At this corner point, we'll get minimum. So 7 is the minimum value. Always first we should find feasible region, common region of shading. So purple line and one more line, red line, both put together gives you common region. So common region you retain that we call it as feasible region. What is this a feasible region? One is 0 to this one, the other one is this uh, zero, 3 0 and the other one is point of intersection. This point of intersection is actually 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. Here graphically it is mismatching. So here this is the graph we get and this point of intersection. If you see, this is 3 by 2 on x axis and 1 by 2 on y axis. 3 by 2 means 1.5. Yes, here it is 1.5 and 1 by 2 means 0.5. This is a point of intersection. To get the point of intersection, you can solve the simultaneous equations. Two lines we have, solve them, subtract them. You will get y value. Put y in any one, you will get x value. That is point of intersection. So corner points means what? This vertex and this vertex and this vertex. Vertices of feasible region are called as corner points. And draw, substitute corner points in the objective function. In the given problem, this is objective function. The function which we need to minimize or maximize is called as objective function. In this problem, they want you to minimize z is equal to 3x plus 5y. In this objective function, we have to substitute the corner points. We have done it. When you substitute, you get minimum value as 7. So, next question minimize z is equal to x minus 7y plus 190. This is the objective function. Conditions first one x plus y less than or equal to 8. Second one x less than or equal to 5. Third, y less than or equal to 5. 
fourth x plus y greater than or equal to 4 so 1 2 3 4 conditions and x greater than and y greater than 0 means first quadrant so we'll draw the graph just let me draft out the graph now to draw the graph we have uh, five different lines so in the first line first line if you put x is 0 you'll get y 8 y uh, y 0 if you put x 8 so these are the points in second line uh, second line this is a line parallel to y axis see x less than or equal to 5 dear students x less than or equal to 5 drawing is simple on x axis at 5 draw a line parallel less than means shade left y greater than or equal to what is the next one so y x y less than or equal to 5 on y axis this is y axis on y axis at 5 draw a line parallel less than means what shade below x less than this is y less than so like that we have to draw and we have to draw the corner point and we have to substitute this. So here now let me draw the graph for this particular thing. So now x plus y less than or equal to 8. So x plus y less than or equal to 8. So I will take x is equal to 0 gives y 8 and y is equal to 0 gives x 8 and two points you got. I name this point as one is 0 8 and the other one is what uh, 8 0 and we'll draw the graph later then second line what is the second line we have second line is simple x less than or equal to 5 so the second line is uh, x less than or equal to 5 x less than or equal to 5 means what so x is equal to 5 we'll say so x is equal to 5 is a line parallel to what y axis less than means so line will be like this pa uh, on x axis at 5 draw a line parallel and shade left so shade left and uh, Less than means what shade towards go towards left. This is y axis and within first quadrant. And the first line, how to draw the first line? All of you know how to draw the first line 0, 8, 8, 0. And you know how to shade also. The first line is like this two points. One point is on 8, 0. The other point is on 0, 8. And we have to shade. So they told less than. So shade left uh, below. So one is going left, one is like this, and then x plus y, y less than or equal to 5. One more line we have, one more line. So we'll use other color, so y less than or equal to 5. y less than or equal to 5 means, I'll take y equal to 5. y equal to 5 means on y axis at 5, draw a line, less than means what shade below. This is less than or equal to 5. And then uh, x plus y greater than or equal to 4. The next line is what? x plus y greater than or equal to 4. So x plus y greater than or equal to 4 means x equal to 0 gives y4 and y equal to 0 gives x4 and the points are what 0, 4 and 4, 0 and we will draw a line. So when you draw a line, this is the line one at 0, 4 the other one is what 4, 0. Now less than means shade below. So now I will combine all the lines and we will draw one particular graph. So this is the graph. This line is what y equal to 5 and this line is what x equal to 5 and this is x plus y equal to 4 and all the regions when you shade this is a common region feasible point. This is a vertices of feasible draw point. So this is the vertices of feasible point D and you can name 0 comma 4, 3.5, 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 0. And this corner points you substitute. So we got 0, 4, 4, 0, 5, 0, 5, 3, 3, 5, 5, 0. From the graph you will get. Put the corner point in Z. You will get. When you put 0, 4, you will get 162. And like that, 194, all the values. And they want minimum value. Minimum value is 155. And occurs at what is called as uh, 0, 5. So this is the answer. I hope all of you understood this. So combining all the graphs, all the lines will draw and all the lines will share. Retain the common region. Uncommon region we erase and the common region we call this region as what feasible region. Once you get the feasible region, the vertices. So this point 3, 5, this point 5, 3, this point 4, 0, this point 0, 4 and they are the feasible region and also point of intersections. So substitute them as corner points and corner points if you substitute in what is called as objective function, you will get what is called as minimum. I hope all of you understood this. So now we are done with some of the important problems of what LPP. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.